Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Emerson here on our Cedar Springs farm in Queensland, Australia. And I was reading an article recently about massive losses of goats and sheep in Texas because of the unseasonal rains they've been having. And they've been losing it because of the increasing resistance of the animals to the parasite burden they get. And what they've found is the traditional paradigm of parasite treatment, which is to treat all the animals regularly, uh, is uh, failing because of increasing resistance of the parasites to drugs. And they're now suggesting that instead of doing that, what we should be doing is monitoring the animals very carefully and only treating the animals which show signs of illness. Yet, or signs of the parasite burden by monitoring stall and egg content. But yet with Homo sapiens, the animal Homo sapiens, I'm seeing people all the time who aren't even having their intestinal parasites treated. And they're not being treated because people are being told that everybody has parasites, therefore there's no point in treating them. That's a bit like turning up at the emergency department at the age of 65 and being told don't worry about your heart attack because everyone has a heart attack at 65. It's like going to the doctor with morbid obesity and being told don't worry that you're overweight because everybody's overweight. I just don't think that's a good way to practice medicine. And the other thing they stressed in the article is that good nutrition of the animals helps prevent the parasites. So the two key things for us as homo sapiens is if you've got intestinal parasites, have them aggressively treated until they've gone and then use good nutrition to try and keep them away. And some of the good nutrition tricks, now we're at the wrong end of Tyson, some of the good nutrition is aloe vera. When they did a survey of the South African farmers uh, in the high veld of South Africa, the number one food the South African farmers used to prevent parasites was aloe vera. Other foods which have been shown to be effective are bovine colostrum. Ginger is also very effective against blastocystis, as is ginger. So when it comes to intestinal parasites, if you've got them, make sure you have them aggressively treated and make sure they have gone by retesting and then maintain good nutrition afterwards with probiotics, ginger, aloe vera, garlic to try and prevent them ever coming back. And this is Tyson, our bull, saying goodbye from Cedar Springs Farm.